Feel free to check out my tea public after the video and support me on Patreon. Watch till the end of the video for more. In 1985 came the follow-up to the iconic Mobile Suit Gundam anime series titled Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam. Director Yoshiyuki Tomino, character designer Yoshikazu Yasuhiko, and mecha designer Kunio Okawara all returned for this installment in Gundam's Grand Universal Century. The transition between anime in the 70s and anime in the 80s was almost completely night and day. The economy was booming, meaning more money was there to be worked with, which meant that anime could truly flourish. Television was already incredibly popular throughout the 60s and 70s in Japan, and what better opportunity than to expand that market and give rise to such great shows like Urusei Yatsura, Fist of the North Star, and City Hunter. At this time, Tomino already completed yet another iconic mecha series by the name Space Runaway Ideon. Yasuhiko directed a sci-fi adventure of his own titled Crusher Joe and worked on Giant Gorg, and Okawara did some work for the highly acclaimed Armored Trooper Votoms. After parting ways when Gundam 79 was completed, Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam was like a reunion for these creative masterminds. And with a new series comes new talent. There was character designer and animator Hiroyuki Kitazume, who previously worked on Heavy Metal l Gun with Tomino, and there'd be more mecha designers like Azumi Fujita, who designed the titular Zeta Gundam, as well as Makoto Kobayashi and Mamoru Nagano. I mention these guys because not only are they responsible for many of Zeta Gundam's character and mecha designs, but they're often uncredited for doing so. In fact, I completely forgot to mention how animator Ichiro Itano does a great job bringing life to so many iconic designs back in Gundam 79. Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam is not only easily one of the best Gundam series out there, but it's one of the best follow-ups to an iconic anime ever made. In fact, I'd even say it's just as good, if not better, than its predecessor in some areas. Zeta Gundam dives even deeper into the themes Gundam 79 introduced, and even ups the ante as there's even more chaos. As an organization known as the Titans, essentially has the Earth Federation in a stranglehold, using the fear of Zeon as a means to manipulate their populace and acquire further political control. The actions of the Titans and Earth Federation led to the creation of a rebellious regime known as the Anti-Earth Union Group, or the AU for short, which happens to be led by none other than Shar Aznable, who is known under a new identity as Lieutenant Quattro Bajina. Zeta Gundam presents us with a very interesting role reversal, where the good guys of Gundam 79 are now portrayed as the bad guys. There is also Axis Zeon led by Haman Karn, who happens to have some history with Shar. She gained control after most of the Zabi family fell along with the Principality of Zeon after the One Year War. Our main character is a new type named Camille Badan, who one day hijacks a Titan mobile suit only for his mother to get held hostage, and gets accidentally killed in the process. Further actions lead to the death of his father as well, and Camille is taken under the wing of the famous Red Comet himself, as he vows revenge on the Titans for killing his parents. And along the way is a series of battles to expose the Earth Federation's corruptive nature, as well as reintroductions to classic characters from the original Gundam, such as Kai, Hayato, Bright, and even Amuro himself. While I personally don't find a good number of the characters in Zeta Gundam that impactful or memorable compared to 79, there are still some very interesting ones who hold up well on their own and always deliver some great human drama, like Fa, Emma, Rekoa, Jared, Bascom, and Shirako. Zeta Gundam adds to its universe by introducing cyber new types, new types that are artificially created to pilot specially designed mobile suits. One of these cyber new types is Four Murasame, who becomes a love interest for Camille and pilots the giant Psycho Gundam. Psycho meaning psychic communications, of course. Speaking of mobile suits, the designers really went the extra mile with them, even going as far as to introduce transforming mobile suits like the Zeta Gundam and the Masala. Other than that, you have the Gundam Mark II, the Hyakushiki, the Rick Diaz, the new Zaku units, the Kubali. All the mobile suits in Zeta Gundam are just as awesome as they were in the original. My personal favorite is the previously mentioned Psycho Gundam, which is an absolute beast of a mobile suit. Too bad the Psycho Gundam Mark II doesn't have much screen time, or even a model kit for that matter. On top of all that, Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam has gorgeous animation, really intense action sequences, and a great soundtrack. Perhaps the biggest highlight to me in all of Zeta Gundam is Char's speech in Dakar. It's moments like this in Gundam where it really shows how there is no true good versus evil. No matter what, you'll always be a villain in someone's story. And in war, all you have are two sides who are just fighting for what they believe is right. 
And if that doesn't perfectly sum up why Gundam is so profound in the first place, I don't know what does. When it comes to availability, Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam is also ridiculously expensive on Blu-ray pirating. It also has its own movie trilogy titled Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam, A New Translation, where much like the Gundam 79 trilogy is a series of compilation films, but some scenes are rearranged and even redone for the sake of brevity and fluency in the storytelling. It also tries to combine classic animation with more modern animation and... I don't know how to feel about it. Personally, if you can, I just watch the original anime. It's an outstanding sequel to an already outstanding anime. I'd definitely give it a watch if I were you, and if I were you, I would absolutely support me on Patreon, where you can get early access to videos, receive updates, and behind-the-scenes content, as well as commission video requests. You could also get these sick designs from IT Public, such as this set where you can help fight the coronavirus as the RX-78 Gundam. Once I reach enough patrons, I will review the Tokusatsu series Redman about a guy who brutally murders monsters in a forest. And if you don't think that's awesome, then what's wrong with you? If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna get something to eat. Yeah, I'll have the double Zeta. Sir, for the last time, we don't serve that here. Every day you come here asking for the same damn thing, and I have no idea what that is!